So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound in this video we will cover another amazing lab that is getting started with vault so first of all click on start lab and open the cloud console incognito window now if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now here it is getting signed in automatically so no need to worry if it asks for username and password refer to the lab instruction now here you have to just click on i understand and then simply move to the cloud console and activate your cloud shell let me show you how you have to do first of the thing you have to do you have to just activate the cloud shell you have to click on this and it will activate the cloud shell here basically you have to click on continue and authorize yourself here basically just click on continue and authorize yourself okay then we will do each thing step by step no need to worry about it everything will be covered in this video step by step and you won't be able to face any issue now click on authorize now here the first thing is that we will increase the font size because many people are using mobile phones for doing the arcade labs yes you heard it right now the first thing is that we have to first of all come to the task number one and install vault in which we will be working so first of all run the first command and just wait for it to get completed and after that we'll be running the second command so just wait for some time let's run the second command like this and then we'll run the sudo command basically the third one so just run it and wait for it to get completed it will take some time so wait for it meanwhile if you're new to this channel do like that and subscribe the channel Here basically we have to wait for this command to get completed then we will run the third basically the sudo command. So wait for some time. So finally it's done. Now we will be running the sudo command basically the third command. So just copy from here and paste over here and hit enter. So it will take some time after that we will go to the next step. Okay. So once it's done, what we need to do, we need to come over here and just start our vault server. Okay, we'll be starting the vault server and opening a new tab. So let me share how you have to do. So first of all, start the vault server over here and here you can see the root token. We'll talk about it. So the root token is very important. It will be used in this lab. So make sure to note it down and copy it in your personal notepad. Now let's come over here and then we have to start the new basically the run this server over here basically now we will be exporting the token so use any personal notepad or you can use your online notepad also now from here just paste it like this and here you have to drag your mouse cursor like this and just leave it here and a click sound will be shown so basically like this clipboard icon will be shown and here you have to remove like this now chances are there you may get this kind of error no need to worry about it use press again copy again carefully come over here and replace it now you have to select the entire thing just close this page or you can save it because it will be required in later steps now paste over here now once you have done this come over here again and here you have to run each command one by one Now here we have to just run whatever command I am running you have to run like this from that section only. So just follow along with me and you will be able to complete this lab without any issue. Now from here run this secret code. Now here you can see all these things are here. Now again we have to run which one let me show you this command. Okay get secret dot txt number four. Okay, we don't have to run the previous command from this section. Basically, the get secret section. We have to run this one. Okay, number four. So just run it like this, and then we'll copy the copy the code to our bucket. So just run it. It will take few seconds, and then it will be updated automatically. Now, once it is updated, we have to just check the score. Okay, you heard it right. We have to just check the score. So just check the score like this and now come to the next step basically the task number two we can see or whether you can see the next step so run this command from here 
you have to only follow the video along and you will be able to complete this lab without any issues so now here what you have to do just follow along with me in the task number four okay we are in the task number four now from here first thing is that we have to enable this first enable the second number topic after that we have to enable another secret so once this thing is done basically in second we have got the error no need to worry about this error now the next thing is that we have to run the fourth number put command and after that we will come over here and then run the sixth number so whatever i am doing you have to just follow along with me and then at uh, here eighth number you can see over here you can just run this command once you have done this we have to run the ninth number command okay so the number may basically change but the steps will remain same so just wait for this to get completed and check the score so you have to follow along with the video only and now it's time to run the vault ui okay we'll be using the vault ui so basically you can see the first second ta task have been done now here basically you have to just preview the port so how to preview the port you have to go to this click on this and change the port and just type eight double eight two double zero okay now click on preview port and now we have to just sign into the vault so how will be signing basically now here we'll come over here in case you haven't copied the root token copy it from here as i said you have to drag your mouse cursor now we have already copied in the notepad so i'm copying from here and paste in the token section now click on sign in now follow along with me now from here you have to click on the secret engine now click on create new engine and here we have to select transit now click on enable engine now the next thing is that we have to create a key for the key name come to the lab instructions okay let's close it if you need we will open it again now for the key just come over here and just scroll down and here you can see the key name so copy the my key name from here and just come over here and paste it okay now here you have to just the one thing click on create key and the key has been created successfully okay now here we have to do something what we have to do we'll show so here basically we have to encrypt the file and decrypt the file so come over here you can just click on the search engine also and come here on the transit and then click on my key or directly click on my key now click on encrypt and here you have to paste this message that is learn vault so just copy the message and paste over here and just come to the bottom and click on encrypt and copy this if it is required basically it is required for the de decryption okay now here once it's done then what we have to do we have to decrypt it so comes again basically come again and copy this basically the vault id code and then come over here you can copy from here also now go to the decrypt option and paste it and click on decrypt now this is a important token message so just copy it because it will be required for the next step on this lab now here you have to just copy this basically the number five command and just paste it on your notepad now from here you have to just copy this and replace the string from here now copy the entire content from here to here and then paste over here okay now just paste on the second shell and hit enter now once it's done come over here to the lab instruction and run this copy command okay run this copy command on your cloud shell copy it carefully and paste over here now it will take some time and once it's done we are done with the lab guys so do like the video and subscribe the channel if you have any queries also for the skill badges you can check the description box of this video this is about the basically the challenge for this particular lab and that's how we completed this lab if you face any issue you can let me know in the comment section thank you guys have a great day ahead